Good morning everybody. Um, we have a short bit of time after yesterday's filming left in Dartmoor. Bye! So today we're going to do a railway shorts which will be something like the tunnels of Dartmoor um, without trying to be too clickbaity. So we've identified four tunnels between uh, where we are now Oakhampton and Plymouth or actually between Tavistock and Plymouth. Um, so we are gonna go and have a look and see if any of those are still accessible. Um, and maybe chat about the history just briefly. There is one tunnel we're not gonna cover, which is a mile and a half long tunnel, which is a canal tunnel. And that was built in 1816 as part of the Morwellan Quay Canal setup. I don't know a lot about the history, so forgive me, but yeah. I don't think it's accessible and I haven't been to Morwell and Key since I was 11 or whatever age we went when we were at school. Um, so not today, today railway tunnels of Dartmoor. Let's go. First stop is a tunnel on the um, Plymouth and Devonport Southwestern Junction Railway, and the stretch we're looking at is between the current station at Bear Alston and the old station on Tavistock North. So um, there was a tunnel which is probably six, seven hundred metres long-ish. I'll have a look at our notes in a second, um, and we're—I don't know if there is access or not to it. But we're going to have a nose around and see what we can see. We're now just heading down to where we think the entrance is. Um, we're on a public footpath at the moment um, and we're facing in the direction of Bear Alston um, having just travelled down from Tavistock direction um, we think the tunnel portal is literally right there according to the map um, so it's going to be quite interesting the pathway now goes to the left so let's have a look and see what we can see Um, and I think we've actually walked maybe 20 yards away from it, sort of um, not not completely perpendicular, but at a bit of an angle, 30 degree angle or something away from it. So we're going to go back up to the road, across the road, and see if there's any other way down there we can get in. I don't think there's going to be a way in, but it's worth a worth a look anyway. So what I find interesting is they want to reopen this section of the line, Tavistock North to Bear Alston, to sort of reconnect Tavistock Tavistock to the rail network um, and even the Plymouth Council I think said last year that it is a feasible project and it may be a project by 2024 so sounds a long way away but it's actually only six years away now so the tunnel you said the tunnel still. well the tunnel would have to be part of that line it would be a small service like one of the um, new projects that are taking place perhaps like a D stock um, etc I don't really know a great deal about modern um, they've obviously checked transport. out the tunnel well you'd assume and so and made sure that it's doable or at least maintainable you'd assume so wouldn't you From but that would moment. yeah so right there is the southern portal for this tunnel um a couple of signs down there saying private property keep out that's the wall where we just took the overlay and we'll just do another little bit now and you can see that's a heck of a drop down down there you can see a pathway down there so that's obviously well used probably by a farmer but no fence in there whatsoever i don't know how secure all that is a couple of old fence posts yeah so we found it but definitely can't get to it that's half a tick half a tick yeah is that such oh, a we thing? found it yeah right on to tunnel number two tunnel number two was on the GWR line because this one, the Bear Alston to Tavistock, was part of the London South Western Railway run route, as we said, the Plymouth and Devonport South Western Junction Railway. Tunnel number two for us today is again just south of Tavistock, but I think it was on the Tavistock Plymouth, which is run by GDR, GWR. Greno Fen Tunnel, 374 yards um, on the South Devon and Tavistock Railway. 
Um, can you access it? Yes, you can. So, I wanted to find somewhere sensible to park um, close by and have a look. 374 yards. We can do it. Oh, it's easy. You're on the wrong side. That was Drake's Cafe, which was really nice. Very Lovely. tasty cake. Really? What flavour cake did you have? Uh, coffee and cinnamon. Coffee and cinnamon. Oh yeah, and the tea was lovely. Anyway, so Drake's Cafe above Grenafen Tunnel. So we're just going down to the northern portal, which is the Tavistock end um, on the Plymouth and Tavistock Railway. Um, so this is definitely accessible because it's part of the Plymouth Tavistock cycle route. See you at Yelverton. We're the wrong side again. Oh god. Put that on camera like a small. <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah. Somebody recently commented and said we must be the fittest railway walkers. That's not the case. Oh no, definitely not. Then this is one heck of a hill. It's steep, isn't it? <laughs> again, cameras don't really do great in its justice, but. Tunnel number four of our little Dartmoor tunnel uh, vlog type railway shorts, etc. Um, so you've noticed you didn't see number tunnel number three. Reason why you didn't see number tunnel number three is because there's a one under Yelverton, 641 yards, um, and basically there was no access point whatsoever. Every little nook and cranny we looked said private road, private road, private road, and we're not really big into trespassing, so Funny that. we avoided that. <laughs> yeah, so um, no tunnel number three because it was inaccessible. So immediately onto tunnel number four, which is uh, this one, which is Lee Beer, Lee Beer Tunnel, which is a short curved tunnel um, under this massive hill in the valley of just north of Plymouth on the Plymouth and Tavistock Railway. However, we've probably taken a slightly wrong route somewhere because we're now way above the tunnel, which is down there. Yeah. Now, we have come up to the hill. See where the little red dot arrow is? That's where we are right now, so just above the tunnel. Nope, yep, oh yeah, we came up there. Yeah, sorry, Rebecca. We came up that road there, which is probably a mistake. Um, what we could do is carry on up here and go to the other side of it and see if we can get through that way. But Let's give it a go. yeah, okay. We're almost at the top now. Mm. We're at the top of this hill, so we're right above the tunnel now. But it also says aqueduct here as well, and I wonder if that is no longer. I mean, there's a massive steel structure down there. <laughs> right, so we are now heading across the top of the tunnel and back down to the northern entrance of it. I think it was only like 300 and something yards long, so again, it's quite short. It's curved. Um, apparently, again, reading, I can't remember what site it was. I wish I could remember what site it was. Somebody's blog. Um, and I was reading it. There's not, as you can imagine, lots of refuse points all the way along it. Um, farm buildings. Lots of refuse points all the way along it, one of which isn't 
um, covered up and apparently there was an exploration tunnel inside that refuge point which could be quite interesting so we'll see if that still exists um, anyway for the moment we're still we'll struggling make it to the tunnel first. we'll make it to the tunnel first yeah yeah so right eventually we've now found our way down from the road onto the cycleway walkway whatever you want to call it Plymouth to Tavistock cycle route mm -hmm. um, and now we're heading for the northern portal of the tunnel so actually we're going to make it we're also going to try and go back a different way because there were some big hills That was the uh, Libé, Libé tunnel, and um, yeah, very cool it was too. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Didn't see the insidey, sneaky tunnel bit at all. No, and every we point was barred, wasn't it? Yeah, every refuge was barred, and we were also looking behind the refuges with the torch, um, and no sign of any exploration tunnel at all. Uh, n you know, not even like it was blocked up. There was no sign because it was just rock face, as it were. There we go. Onwards. That probably concludes our little. Um, tunnel vlog for the day yep. um, yeah I think it does conclude it for the day does it? I think it does. there is one more tunnel apparently under the town of Liam but phew, there's no it's Plymouth and Dartmoor tunnel but there's no sign of a tunnel on the OS maps or anything and we're getting a little bit short on time so we'll call that a day for today um, two out of four success rate today yep. so 50% success rate on the tunnels today okay. yep we'll take that um, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, like, subscribe, comment down below, um, and notification bell. Hey. Yay! <laughs> um, Laters.